Well, it's very exciting that Cataclysm is here and uh, playable for the fans. Now, you guys have had the, the beta test going on, so right. the World of Warcraft that's here and playable, how is it different? Is it just the beta that folks are able yeah, to play? Yeah, it really is just the beta. It's the most recent build that we have up there. Uh, we update the beta, generally speaking, once a week, uh, hopefully more whenever we can, and uh, it's the most recent thing we have. Excellent. Now, a lot of people that may be watching this, that some of them are in the beta, some aren't. Is there any way to get into the beta now, or sort of you had to be in it at, at the start? You're out of luck. Yeah, we still send out invites. Uh, we, you know, it's important to us to keep the testing fresh. Um, we always get new perspectives that aren't kind of based on things that they've experienced earlier in the beta. So it's important to keep people rolling in there. Excellent. All right. Well, I know Cat has. Many questions from the mm -hmm. forums, which are going to be much tougher than my questions. <laughs> right. uh, you ready to just sit here under the spotlight of Cat Hunter? Cat, what do you got for Tom? Well, I can definitely get us started, but I was hoping maybe we could also pull some off Twitter on your computer. We can. After let's, we do that. let's do a little Twitter questions. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you have questions, send them to at Cat Hunter or at Jeff Keeley. And uh, Kat, I'll let you take it away with some of your questions first as I search on Twitter here. Perfect. Um, we haven't touched at all on Cataclysm PvP. I thought maybe right. we could talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Um, really interesting decision to make, Tol Barad. You know, very right. simple. It's very similar, you say, to the Isle of Keldanaz. I yeah, pronounced in a that sense. wrong. <laughs> so I, I was on um, a PvP server, and that island was definitely right. a, a battle zone Chaos. constantly. <laughs> so what what is your thinking? What is it going to look like? What are we going to experience? Right. Well, in terms of look and feel it's very different than the isle of Keldanas and that it's uh you know an island that's uh, i guess in a lot of ways more like what you would imagine an alcatraz would be um it's uh, an abandoned prison um at least that's the centerpiece of the island and there are other kind of uh, attached islands to it where a lot of the uh, daily questing happens that sort of thing but what players are going to experience is that because it's the central hub for daily quests uh, that's really where players are going to be and do a lot of their daily questing activity. And on PvP servers, where you can kind of take a stab at each other at any time, we expect that's going to create a lot of action and friction and that sort of thing. So I think in terms of behavior and, and, and gameplay feel, it should be a lot like the Isle of Peldenas did. On the other hand, the kind of central part of the island, the one with the prison, that should really feel a lot more like Wintergrass did in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Players will get together there every couple of hours and duke it out for control of the island. That gives them some bonus daily quests, and you know, overall, they get to participate in a big epic battle. Okay. Um, we're gonna. What about? Tell me a little bit about Twin Peaks, actually. Well, Twin Peaks is one of our new battlegrounds that we're introducing, and it's a, it's a capture the flag style of gameplay, um, a lot like Warsaw Gulch. What we've tried to do here is retain a lot of the gameplay kind of. Uh, feel that we've had in previous battlegrounds and iterate on it and provide a new environment for it. It's really a proven gameplay style. A lot of people like to capture the flag. It uh, takes place kind of in the Twilight Highlands, which is one of our new areas. So players get a new environmental feel with a slight twist on the, the capture the flag gameplay. And uh, before we go to Twitter, I just have a quick question. When is the beta going to be coming down for players? A lot of people ask that. Right, right. Well, it generally comes down a little bit before we go live with the patch, right around there, because it depends on when we're going to put up the, the next thing. So essentially, once our quality assurance department has signed off on what we're releasing for the game on December 7th, then at that point, we transition it to testing the next thing that we're working on, which generally speaking for something like this would be a a quick patch that addresses any kind of emergency issues. Okay. All right, well, let's head on over to Twitter now, Tom, and see what the fans have to ask you. A right uh, lot of questions coming in. 30 just came in the last few seconds, but <laughs> here's the first one. This one comes from uh, Dragon Lace Will, and uh, Dragon Lace Will says, each Blizzard expansion had an awesome pre-event, so when will, we when will we be expecting the Cataclysm pre-event? Right. Anything soon? Yeah, that's actually already getting geared up uh, as we speak. Um, we're going to see large-scale em elemental invasions of the cities, um, and there's already kind of some build-up going on for that. And it, that's going to escalate so that it'll become kind of more and more dominant in those cities to the point where, uh, for a while, it, it's likely to shut down the world. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. Now let's go to... Uh, Another how, long, how far out is that? Yeah, go for it. Uh, that'll, that'll be right a couple of weeks before the cataclysm happens. Okay. So it's that, coming soon. That's some good stuff, Cat, right? Okay. I'm getting excited about that one. All right, let's move right on to uh, another question here for you, Tom. This one comes from the Troll King at iTrollCatHunter. 
Uh, <laughs> nice. One of your many fans <laughs> on Twitter, Kat. Uh, this one is, where are the new dances? Will Path of the Titans make a comeback in either a future expansion or say patch right. 4.3? Right, well, we have been working on new dances, and we'll, we'll put those into the, the dance studio feature that we've talked about before as soon as we have enough content for it to really be ready. Um, we've got some interesting and fun dances already prepared for it, but really it needs a good chunk of content before it's ready. Okay. Um, as far as, uh, you know, what we might be seeing is, uh, with the Path of Titans, it's too early to say whether or not that idea will make a comeback. Um, I'm sure we'll discuss it again when we're doing our planning for the next expansion. We're really ironing out what the feature sets are. Um, and it, it could happen. It, it might be a while longer than that. Who knows? All right, well, we've got time for one more question from Twitter, and this All one right. comes from uh, Adam at Adam Koval. Adam says, ask Tom, how many tiers of content will there be before Deathwing? Will it be three like the Lich King? Right. Well, we're still uh, we're still actually trying to figure that out. Uh, we know that you know we're going to have a patch 4.1, a patch 4.2, and we're still trying to figure out whether or not it's going to be in 4.2 or whether there's going to be a 4.3 and whether it's going to be in that. So uh, there's still a bit to be decided, and we'll probably get that figured out at least internally sometime in the next uh, two to three months or so. Um, but before then, we don't really know for sure. Excellent. All right. Well, it sounds like there's lots of work still to do, but Cataclysm Indeed. is coming out on December 7th. You guys have locked into that, right? Absolutely. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much, Tom. I'm sure we'll be seeing you again later today.